what on earth is this? <laughs> do I t do I take this? <laughs> That's actually insane. Hey, buddy, watch this. I'm gonna play Overload Shaman. I wanted to try. Uh, I wanted to try Chaos Storm with. Um, the new card, uh, Perpetual Flame. Uh, we want things that would normally be sad to run because of Overload that do not have Overload anymore. Earth Elemental to, uh, to Greedy, maybe? I don't know how much I want this deck to be like a control deck versus a burn deck. You know, like, I, I, I'm running a little bit of burn for sure. I want to be able to end games. There's no question about that. Cheap overload is really good too for chaos storm. Oh, guidance makes a ton of sense. Yeah, I like guidance. That's a lot of spells, much like a fireheart sort of thing. Rockbiter. Yeah, maybe with with the doomhammer is it good enough? Oh, actually, you know what I like is the other one. Storm strikes probably just better. A little bit more relevance at clearing, but also sets up some doomhammer follow ups. Scorpid seems reasonable. Yeah. What about like a novice zapper just for a good early body? I, I just know how it's felt like we were really, really slow lately. Is a volcano bad? Maybe it's slow. I mean, I'm losing on turn one every time. So what is it? <laughs> Why run a <laughs> we We've never seen a turn five. Why bother running a turn five card? Dunk take seems really good too. It's both clear and damage, which seem important. Oh, I do like Diligent Note Taker. Yes, Diligent Note Taker is insane with treasures. Yep, yep, yep. Good call there. What about a cage match to draw the Doomhammer? I don't think we... Do we have Devolving? Oh, we do have Devolving. I do like Devolving Missiles too, yeah. Cut Zapper, Forked Lightning. Both are not good. Really? They seem very good. This is straight up just a one mana 3-2. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking the same thing. We're going to get more weapons and buckets later, so I'm not worried about redundancy on the cage match custodian. I want to run a cage match. My current thoughts are either Forked Lightning or maybe... I don't know. I like Dunk Tank a lot. It is hard to corrupt in some ways, but not really. Actually, you know what I don't like is Earth Elemental, I don't think. You guys seem really down on, on Dunk Tank, but it's so much damage output. I think we're going to win a lot of games just hitting people in the face, right? I mean, if you think, if you think there's a better way to do damage or that we have enough, that's an argument, but the corrupting's not a disincentive to me. Disincentive. I I don't care if it gets corrupted usually. If it does, I mean, hey, that's fine. I don't know, let's just try. I like this, it's fine. I don't want to overthink these too much because we don't really know anyway. Like we don't have the experience to make a great decision, right? Okay, so Warlock, I think we're gonna, oh, we kept the Fork Lightning, I didn't even remember this. I don't know the hero power, but I think these seem good against the imps that Warlock can summon, I know. They have that imp summoning dude hero power thing i think this is it right so these seem insane um have Cthune. that means we're gonna need to win this hitting face it, it takes 45 minutes to see the hero power yes i'm gonna flame up okay so these are fantastic really really good at answering flame ups okay perfect soul shear do I want a perpetual flame already, or do I just want to wait here for a second? Uh, like, I can try to guidance and get by here for one turn at least. Yeah. Yeah, let's wait. I can take three damage, I think. It should be okay. Particularly with Tidal Surge there, that changes the, the math a little. I mean, I guess there's a world where if, if they don't play anything else, maybe I just Tidal Surge this turn, but... Uh, I'm assuming something else gets played. So I'll probably go Note Taker Perpetual Flame here. Not probably. I will go Note Taker per Perpetual Flame here. It's insane. Uh, like, actually insane. And... Go from there. All right. Far side, I guess, is fine. I kind of hate that I'm not, like, pushing here, but... Oh. Well. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> One mana, 7-7. Seven, seven. That'll do it. So we have Doomhammer set up now with Stormstrike. That's pretty nice. Pretty big board. 
God, what a draw. Is there any, there is no other draw that is better, obviously. That was perfect. So insane. So Doom Hammer, I mean, it's going to put them to 14. Stormstrike gives me 10 the following turn. Any burst spell here is going to set me up for a lethal, assuming that all connects. Art on the Golden Perpetual Flame. Yeah, it looks cool. I will say, oh, sick. Yeah, I didn't know there was one flying in. That's nice. I will say it does feel a bit like uh, those flames are kind of missing his like ooze targets. They're kind of dodging them, it looks like, kind of warping around them. So I wonder how effective the <laughs> Perpetual Flame is in this scenario. But hey, whatever. It works. Is this lethal? Nine plus four is uh, 13, so not quite. Uh, is this more damage? It's six. So nine plus six is only 15, so not quite. Uh, maybe we slow down just a little this turn and uh, focus on the removal here just to stay super safe. Set up for the win next turn. I don't know. This doesn't still set me up for the win unless I'm minion stakes, so I'm not sure about this. Maybe equipping the Doomhammer is always better. Just hit the minion once or something. Cthune online next turn? You mean Maw of Cthune? I don't think his Cthune's online, is it? <laughs> he's, he's got a little work to do, right? Maybe I'm missing something here. Oh man, I got a flame now. Jeez actually really good again perpetual flame is so insane here it's crazy in this matchup it's just too good all right well i mean we're set up for lethal assuming you know no crazy taunts or but we have devolving missiles even for a taunt so that's pretty good uh rust Wix doesn't matter cool Dunk tank off the top. Here's another test. Not that we needed it, but. Things are about to take a dark, dark turn. turn. Hey, we won a duels game. Wow. All it took was playing a degenerate face tag. Actually, all it took was perpetual flame. That was completely bonkers. It's absolutely insane. Um. Okay, so this is just literally useless. I don't ever overload. I mean, that just takes forever to destroy a Doom Hammer. If I get other cheap weapons, it's, you know, it's better. It's problematic. Uh, nature spells, let's see. We have one, five, six. I think it's actually mending pools in this case. I it, I don't love it for our build because it's like, yeah, it doesn't really, it's not, you know, it's not tempo based. It's not, it's not value. It's just time. I mean, time is kind of useful when we're looking to like find lethal damage later, but how often is that time going to make the difference? But pillage just, I mean, if I don't hit a weapon, it's basically does nothing because it takes four turns for me to break a doom hammer. And assuming, unless I have another weapon, but if I have another weapon, then it solves the problem anyway, I guess. But yeah, and, th and this literally just does nothing. I mean, we don't ever overload. So yeah, I guess it's this. It's kind of a shame that that card is even offered when you can't overload. It's kind of unfortunate. Uh, oh, two nature spells and a lot more survivability with a Brucon, maybe for some damage output. We got, this doesn't seem good enough. This is definitely a little more damage focused with that lava burst. This is tough. I mean, this is the nature spell path. I want to play slightly more defensively. The problem with playing too defensively is, is like, are we going to outvalue anybody? Are we, you know, if we play somebody with like life gain or armor, we're not going to be able to get there because we won't have enough value. But this is definitely the most synergistic, minus the overload side of things. You know, th this is one overload card here and one overload card here, which why didn't I get more overload stuff? We have an overload synergy deck with no overload cards. What do you guys like better? Elemental Assault or Spells Unleashed? I think I like Spells Unleashed because Brucon is potentially a ton of damage output, right? And just like really effective removal too. All right, whatever. Neither were perfect, but... Both were okay, I think. Brucon improves Dunk Tank. <laughs> the whole deck's only about Dunk Tank now. That's all we care about. Um, this is a really interesting synergy, but seems a little seems a little off, right? I think Fireheart's too slow. Storm Strike's probably okay against Rogue, but a little slow. I think I want faster starts. I want Novice Zapper. I want Perpetual Flame. I think No Taker's such a good card. Um, Chaos Storm might be such a good card that we have to keep it as well. 
I just don't like that it's going to take four or five turns for it to be good. This seems like a good stall until we get to the point where this is relevant, though, at least. I can I can definitely play from behind a tad with bending pools, right? Like, let them get out to a good start and then kind of swing it back with my removal and healing. And then once we swing it back, start whacking them in the face really hard, right? I think that's reasonable. See ya, Atticat, man. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out today. Face. Let's go. Pretty good minion, though, to take a trade here. Not worth a lightning storm, right? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think we lightning storm just yet. Uh, do I tempo a note taker, though? Is, is it, it maybe a more legitimate question? Uh, I, I don't think so. Again, I think we can afford to play from behind a little. It's just really unfortunate that I'm floating so much mana here. That is one thing I love about Runeterra is floating mana gives you spell mana, which is really cool. You don't feel like you waste your mana nearly as often based on your draw. It's a really cool system. Maybe my favorite thing about Runeterra. You never feel like you're just like totally throwing mana away. I mean, it happens sometimes, but very rarely. Very rarely feel like you're throwing away mana. Okay, backstab. That's actually kind of relieving because... Oh, God. Oh, Lord. The volley missiles off the top, please. Forked lightning. Note taker, forked lightning. It sets me up for like next turn. Could like Brucon forked lightning. That's actually still not enough though, technically. I don't know. <laughs> if I go storm, it puts this at five. I am still. Oh, I could play. I could play Brucon and forked lightning next turn. Yeah. This will do five, right? So assuming there's only two minions on board or fewer, but that's actually a risk because they definitely could develop like three or four minions, particularly with their hero power, pumping stuff out, right? I just realized, I don't know how this upgrades. <laughs> Does this deal additional damage? I don't even remember how this card upgrades. I've never played it. Does it go to four damage? Does it go to more targets? I, I have no idea. I don't remember at all. It does three damage and then four damage. Okay, it increases in damage. Okay, this actually worked out, thank God, relatively well. Thankfully only played the one minion here. That would have been pretty harrowing otherwise. Yeah, it's two to three to four, yeah. <laughs> I'm not the only one in chat who's like, yeah, I don't know either, Reach. It's been a bit, man, been a bit. Glad to know. This is another fantastic clear. Uh, we can also go note taker into lava burst and just start smacking face. A little bit riskier, but not insane, I think. Because I'm going to deal eight. Oh, no, this is fire. I'm only going to deal five. Actually, not that insane. Never mind. Maybe we go chaos storm lava burst. It's not that good either. This feels like we should use it, but nothing on board right now is a particularly great target. I need to draw a lightning bolt. Then I can go note taker, or then I can go chaos storm, note taker, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. That would be insane. That would be a just busted turn. And I would double the lightning bolt, not this chaos storm, I think. They're really looking for an answer to this Brucon. I don't blame them. Did you guys know that fire is not a part of nature? <laughs> <laughs> Fire is not nature spells. Oh, I see. That's good. Three mage cards. I mean, God knows. I I don't know what's in there. Whatever. Not not the best turn, obviously, but. Yeah. What am I going to do? I don't think we're ready to burst face yet, right? If I had a lightning bolt in hand, I would definitely go like double lava burst and just try to race. You know, but we don't have any damage in hand at the moment. It's all removal minus that one lava burst. So until I find the other pieces, I, I don't think I can commit just yet. I think I'm still in a defensive game plan. Like this points defensive, all the nature spells healing me points defensive. So I'm going to try to keep up if I can and then wait till i accrue enough and then we'll then we'll see if we can blow it up or if we get desperate one of the two right if we get desperate enough obviously we'll have to just like blow up on a fireheart turn or a chaos storm turn that sort of thing but for now gonna hang out 
this starts piecing it together more though and it lets me do something without maybe playing into the secret too hard plus it's barrier barrier will figure out so this is now nine damage uh, but again, I'm still probably looking at a more defensive turn in the meantime, healing off Mending Pools, Tidal Surge. What makes oh boy. So, is there any way for me to force... Yeah, I can hit Jandis and Wand Thief and then Chain Lightning both of these, but they don't really necessarily clear anything. Get in there and fight, man. Oh my god, I need... Bro, I need my Lightning Storm back. I need a corrupted dunk tank. Well, we don't know if it's counter spells, the sad thing here. I think the the tidal surge is more important, right? That was a roll. Oh god, did I just duplicate a Jandis? Or a, an abusive sergeant. Either way, is actually pretty bad, honestly. Both have problems. All right, uh, we're just gonna set up to go face hard next turn. I don't even know if we have it though, because this is only nine. Like, what can I get? I guess another lava burst. Well, there's certainly draws off the top. Storm strike, lightning bolts, maybe. I don't know. We we might have a minute here. Seems like we're not certainly dead yet or anything. Chaos Storm heals me for two on top of that. Oh my god, he got the Jandis back? Oh my god. Why did it proc the Jandis and not the other dude? I targeted that, right? Double taunt! Oh, come on! This is so stupid! Why did he get Jandis back? I don't actually understand. Did that, is that what the Jandis came from, too? Oh. All right, let's just try to win over the top first. Um, can I? I don't think I have enough mana. Maybe, like, double lightning bolt. What is the wording on chain lightning? The wording on chain lightning says, deal two damage to a minion and a random adjacent one. Killed them simultaneously, but Jandis existed first. That may be the reason, actually, yeah. That might be the explanation. Not the craziest thing I've heard. All right, I'm going for the win. I'm not playing for the loss here. I don't care. Oh my god. Now that I say that, it's like, god, can I win next turn? <laughs> uh, hold up. How much damage? 5, 10, and 4 is 14. This puts me at 17. Devolving Missiles probably saves me life, too. Um, or... God, I thought that was gonna connect. If I get the taunts, I'm actually still it potentially could win. Okay. Nope. Uh am I just dead now? Like I, I mean I have top decks obviously, but Oh, I'm dead. Okay. GG. That <laughs> last lightning bolt, I thought. Oh my god, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm glad I didn't uh play for the board by the way. We still would have died and I wouldn't have had any outs for lethals. Because of that, that uh, mask was just so insane. So that worked out, but just uh, not quite enough. Almost, almost got us there. Uh, yeah, I think it's looming presence. Just stalling and drawing damage has been our game plan. So I don't like these other ones at all. Ooh, lava burst and Gidra's fun. This is just why I don't understand these pools. First off, who's group learning is supposed to be based on other people's decks. Group learning is based on decks other people are running. It's 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 called group learning because it's learning from the group of people playing duels. Who is playing optimistic ogre in their duels deck? And why am I getting offered Cthulhu stuff with no Cthulhu? I mean, this is fine. I'm happy to take this. Like this is a pretty decent bucket, honestly. I'm okay with it but I just can't fathom either of these existing. I don't, I don't even have a Cthulhu. I, mean, I don't actually know which of these is more insane. The optimistic ogre injured. This is like, it's almost like this is pulling from somebody's arena run as opposed to a duels run. 
It's almost like the group learning bucket is accidentally pulling arena decks and somebody took this from arena. But the Cthune, I, that just has to be a mistake. I don't, like it, it has to be a bug or something. You know what I mean? Like that can't be designed. Like there's, there's, well, maybe both of those, maybe something's going wrong with the buckets. Cause they just, that just doesn't, I, it just doesn't make sense. Yeah, I've been offered two overload cards out of uh, six buckets so far, I think. Maybe three. I think three overload cards out of six buckets. Yeah, pretty pretty insane. Um, I mean, this is good against the one ones, but it's not, it's not that exciting, right? It's not that good. I don't know. They're good cards, I guess. Yeah, group learning, based on the, the reading you can do from duels, is supposedly uh, based on other people's runs. Like, it, it learns from the pool of duels decks that exist and supposedly pulls it from that. It's not like, you know, deterministic again. They, they try to avoid deterministic stuff, but supposedly it's, you know, uh, I don't know. There, there's somewhere you can read about it. There's like an article or whatever. You can learn more. It's obviously not working as intended or 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 people are just playing the worst duels decks in history Which I don't know where can I find these people to play against? <laughs> I want to find the guy playing that deck, please Show me that dude Okay, I mean I have a pretty insane set of cards here, but I'm not doing anything right now I'm okay to play from behind again because we have mending spirits. We can heal and recover and and do this but it's a little nerve-wracking. Chain lightning still a tad awkward. Dunk tank uncorrupted, unfortunately. Feral spirit maybe softens the stuff up for later. But Demon Hunter, one problem you have to worry about is burst damage though. Like, you know, there's two things. Like one, I might accidentally die too early. Number two, they might, uh, oh, that was perfect rolls, wow. Really nice. Okay, now Chain Lightning's perfect though. That's good news. Uh, we can Tidal Surge later. I don't need to now. I can just Looming Presence for now. Okay, back to 19. I had a thought about Demon Hunter damage. Basically, it, it could, the problem is it can come in two ways, burst and chip, and it's hard for me to play around burst damage in, uh, quite a bit, so. I basically gotta be careful. Tidal Surge Molten Blast here to get the board back. It's pretty cool. It's fine. Molten Blast, uh, obviously not great, but that's what we got. Uh, once we get time to play Doomhammer, we'll start working on their face, right? We got quite a bit. That'll corrupt the dunk tank, which is nice. Like a Doomhammer Perpetual Flame turn on a, on a big token board or something would be perfect. So they draw two here. It's not really the perpetual flame I'm looking for. Yeah, if I can get a novice zapper in, maybe it's worth it. I, I lose so much, but I have the dunk tank for for AOE next time around. So yeah, this is probably fine. I need to start pushing right, or I'm not gonna win. So we're just gonna die to their thing eventually, right? I don't even know if I should play this. Like I should probably just wait to use this for damage later because they just get to clear it for free, basically. The tempo doesn't matter against Demon Hunter, right? Yeah, I think it's a mistake to play this. I don't like playing this. I should have just held it for this. Particularly because this currently doesn't buff this. It does buff this, which is nice, but... Well, I guess if they're not going to use zero power value anyway, it's all good. Dunk Tank now clears this out. Uh, we go Brucon Dunk Tank to hit for literally a billion damage. It's literally a billion. Um... That's good news. I like a billion damage. Okay. Five to the board. All right. Cool, cool, cool. I had the same bucket offered to me earlier today. I have no idea what group is playing those cards. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's It's got to be something wacky going on. 
I, I don't want to dunk on it too hard because I, I, you know, I don't think it's like a design thing. I think it's a, a bug or a mistake or something, right? It, it feels bad to like dunk on those situations. Uh, is Lava Burst here just going to be a lethal? We have 14, right? Uh, double Lava Burst with Snow Taker. It's 8 mana. 10, 14, yeah. Okay. Cool. Nice. All right, man. Shame we had that dunk tank, guys. <laughs> too hard to corrupt. Dunk tank sucks. Or you just don't play dunk tank. Yeah, screw you guys. I like it. I like it. Um, ooh, this is actually nuts. Wow, flame waves is kind of cool. We have lava burst, but I think that's it, right? Well, perpetual flame. I don't think we have enough. It's really intriguing because of how much damage it can push out. Molten blast. Boy, if we had just a few more, I think it'd be worth it. But the two twos are nice because we have a lot of little nature spells we can cast and get um, some chip two twos, right? They'll be worth more damage overall than the than the flame waves, I think. Book of Wonders for the YouTube video. I do think Book of Wonders is underrated for the record. Ooh, perpetual counts each time. Oh, man. But you don't really need... I mean, it's face damage because it's enemies, which is cool, but... I mean, the cool thing is it doesn't mean like Lava Burst is basically a swipe. You know what I mean? Like Lava Burst becomes a board clear. Molten Blast is a swipe, that sort of thing, right? Like, but I don't have quite enough fire spells. It's just four. And this is like over and over again, right? It's so many. It helps me win games. I mean, this does too, I guess. Yeah, it's got to be the saplings. I, I, I really want to play for this though. Like I want to play like a burn shaman or something with like fire synergies dude seems kind of nuts but i think this is the you know safer safer option oh my god there's a lava burst right there dude uh, <laughs> i'm gonna take this too for sure it's a great bucket oh man if, if i if i end up getting even more and more fire spells we're gonna regret this so much but the saplings are great two twos are awesome they're tempo they're free face damage sometimes too right yeah, by the way, the, those buckets were insane again. Yeah, good point, whoever said those buckets. Those buckets were total garbage again. I've been offered like four overload cards total. I mean, look, I think it's still better than like having super predictable buckets where you get the same stuff every time. That, that just becomes a different constructed format at that stage. So I'm cool with it having some divergence, but I still think it could use some fine tuning. From the competition oh boy i don't know how much i want to race here versus um need to react to minions and stuff I, I don't think i'm gonna be able to keep up with their minions that well right devolving missiles would be great to help me do that but outside of devolving i wonder if i have to just go hard face and try to win this man they seem to get crystal gem a lot oh whoa we might be able to win via fatigue they draw a card whenever a beast dies. Okay. Oh, they didn't have a death rattle play on one. That's good news. Do I play this just to get the 2 2? Just to get a hat on board? I don't know. I think I can wait. I think I can wait. I don't think it's that urgent. Yeah, always take both. Okay. All right. Not a bad set of nature spells here for some 2 2s. This could give me extra tutus as well. I'm hoping they got like the uh, three mana death rattle guy. Oh man, that is not a great death rattle to get. Why didn't they play that last turn? I wonder. It was maybe they were hoping to draw another death man, death rattle to play that was gonna be cheaper. I think that that's a pretty reasonable explanation. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and play the note taker for like super tempo here. Um, basically, I get a, a two two and a two three on board. <laughs> no, I don't. I got a coin back. <laughs> not what I meant to do. Not what I meant to do, but not actually that bad, really, right? Not actually that bad. I just took the innervate. It's fine. <laughs> I obviously meant to get a forked lightning based on what I said, but I'm okay with this. This is pretty chill, too. Oh, Huffer is great news. Okay. Can easily deal with a Huffer here. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, let's go face. A lot of damage coming together now. Actually, insane amount of damage coming together. And the two twos are getting work done. <laughs> you saw it happening in slow motion. Yeah, I did not. <laughs> it took me a second to even realize what happened. 
I know that I know that Trump though is the world first coin calico gamer. Uh, I saw Trump do it at a pre-release event thingy, like a test thing. Coin to Caligos on turn nine, and then tried to play like a pyroblast or something, right? But the coin ate the Caligos uh, discount. He hold, he will forever hold that prize. World first. Well, Blizzard. Somebody Blizzard, I'm sure, did it. But world first outside of uh, Dev. Go Trump. The only reason I didn't do it first is because I didn't have Caligos yet. I'm sure, I would have got there too. Uh, you know, I think we dunk tank. It just summons a 2-2, right? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I, I want that damage going face anyway, so. Summon a 2-2, heal a little bit, I guess. It's pretty nice. This guy has burned through a lot of really low-cost cards so far. He hasn't played anything meaningful, and he hasn't gotten any hero power value. It's it's sort of shocking. I guess he did, like, a damage or something, but... Kind of insane how little... How little hero power value we've seen. Uh, so I have the lava burst that it feels so bad. Would love to have like a devolving missiles. No. Storm strike feels a little less bad than a lava burst because it's harder to go over the top with later. But I also could doom hammer later. That said, I don't have a doom hammer. Let's just let's just do this for now. Hopefully, there's no taunt that pops out. I'd love this two two to go face. Um. Or no death rattle. Death rattle I may have to kill if it's a death rattle. Um, that's sort of horrifying to leave up, but if he goes face with it and isn't hitting my minions, I think I'm okay. I'm, I'm Again, we're just on this path, right? This is insane. This is 13 damage very soon. 14 here. Any other follow-ups are going to get me really close to lethal. Of course he hits Wind Fury. It's like, what year is it again? Great. As long as he doesn't buff the health or anything, I, I can Lightning Storm it, no problem, so... Not that worried about it. Or Lightning Storm, Perpetual, whatever. I may actually have to deal with it now, unfortunately. Um, oh, and I immediately hit Doomhammer. How sad. Let's just freeze it, right? It's fine. Uh, next turn, we'll have a lethal setup, so... All good. This is 13, even without the weapon. If he gets really focused on the weapon or anything, taunts or whatever, we just set up lethal, so. He has to heal and taunt. A million other things, probably. You're too slow. Hey, listen, Drew, dude, thanks for the 14 months, man, and a big time eight month streak. That's really cool. Oh, hey. That's a lot of lava bursts, man. He's gonna have to like a weird start in this game, huh? Really weird start. Feel kind of bad almost. Like, seemed like he had a way better deck than that showcase. It's like he had all his one drops and nothing meaningful. That Huffer roll was actually fairly unfortunate too, since I had the perfect board for it. Oh my. Fioris's blade used to be completely insane. Uh, I actually can draw it fairly reliably with cage match custodian uh it's a ton of damage output i think i like it i think i like it uh imagine it with like storm strike in particular right Ooh. and i have the healing to back up the early minion trades the question is do i do i need wands of disintegration more i feel like i don't because i'm pretty good at keeping up with the board with all the perpetual flames and lightning storms and the treants i'm summoning early and the chain lightnings i feel like the output here is plus this helps me clear minions frankly and i can use my health because of mending pools so this is kind of like a removal card in a way but also a removal card that eventually just kills the opponent and just the fact that i draw this 50 percent of the time off cage match is kind of crazy i think i'm convinced i have enough removal the problem is taunts, like taunts are, you know, this is great against taunts because it silences, but I have double devolving missiles. I have so much AOE, I'm gonna take the blade. I think the blade's got more pop off potential. It may strand me a little bit later in the run. Oh, of course I get offered a doom hammer immediately. Also, what on earth is this? <laughs> do, I do I take this? It's the funniest bucket I've ever seen. I don't. It's so bad, but this is too good to pass up. But this is insane. <laughs> oh, man.
The triple banner smosh. <sighs> Storm strike's so good. I'll tell you though, this does give me more meat to the deck than we currently have. This is one nature spell, which is nice. Of course, no taker's great, but we don't, we only have one spell treasure. Oh, but we do have chaos storm. I don't know, guys. No taker's so good. <laughs> <laughs> like this is clearly the like the, the 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 package to take if you want to win but i hate that the tomb hammer is there to mess up the cage match draw of the feoris if i if i had not taken the feoris this would 100 percent be the pick since i took the feoris i'm a little iffy here i think i'm gonna take the banner smashes and they just give me more meat more like mid-game meat and i think i'm gonna take the meat I hate you guys. I gotta pee though. Am I only at two wins? Oh no, I'm at three. Okay. How many banner smashes can we play in one game? Hopefully zero. Hopefully we're playing like Alex Rossas or <laughs> Tyrians or something. I don't really want to play any, any banner smashes. <laughs> I want them to turn into cool stuff. But you know what I mean. All right, priest. We can out heal their, their mind tether, I think. So that shouldn't be a problem. As long as we out value. Uh, keeping a doom hammer is actually sort of intriguing because if I hit cage match now it guarantees Feoris. Plus, doom hammer is just good. So, oh my god! <sighs> god, that's so stupid. Uh, it's annoying. Oh, scepter's scary. Also, first holy spell. Discover a card from your class, and we've got Cthulhu to break down too. Okay, so. Quite a bit of work to get through here, but Feoris' Blade's pretty cool because it gives me a lot of damage output over the course of this game. Hopefully. Kind of light on card draw at the moment, though. I'm, like, some of this stuff does not play well together, right? So. Oh, but that's all we needed, baby. That's all we needed. Do I ever play the Doomhammer first just to... Number one, maybe bait out some kind of like weapon removal stuff. That's a possibility. Number two is we could. With a Kunda spirit. Ozaki's wild. Number two is just like it is more like output, you know, technically. Although the blade. If you're hitting minions for the first few turns, it, it kind of ends up not really ever running out of gas anyway, so maybe debatable. Which is better. Oh, this looks so good with with Doomhammer. Maybe I do go for the Doomhammer still. Just get through the Doomhammer first and then blade. It, it's just the blade, I'm gonna get stuck hitting minions for a while, but it's gonna get so big so fast that it's just gonna be a two turn lethal hit and like or you know a two hit lethal in like a couple turns so i don't know it's debatable but i need the right minions to hit i guess oh my god <laughs> i don't care i'm doing it i don't even care if it's good i don't even care if it's good i'm just doing it face or minion are actually both pretty cool results here um I just don't even care if it's good. It's probably not even the right play. Something like this is probably the right play, but I don't care. It's rag. <laughs> it's turn five rag. Who cares? <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> uh, it's fun. Trading. Okay. It's fine. Hard of Cthulhu's fine. Rag got eight base damage. I'm pretty pumped. And clear Dominion. That's invaded some removal. That's exciting stuff. So we'll go Doomhammer here, actually, and start working through the charges. Bander Smosh number two. There's no minions to hit anyway, right? So why blade? It doesn't do anything. <sighs> could go note taker, storm strike here. Not that we could play both right now, but it's just so much damage output. In fact, the path is clear. Yeah, it's a pain, isn't it? Willow. The volley missile is just an insane hit, honestly. Oh, that. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Well, not really that fine, is it? Oh man, I hate this. Wasting a lot of damage just to get some damage back. I don't know. The fact that this is a taunt is pretty brutal. Honestly. It's fine because we're winning anyway, but that actually did kind of suck. But that said, we're set up for 13 here, plus whatever we can get from the board. I can hit my own minions with Stormstrike if I need to, so that's fine. That seems very slow. Ooh, 
Okay. Taunts are the only real threat to me here. Oh, man. Uh, they're dead, so that's fine, but scary. But I have uh, 12, 15, so they're dead. Okay. Kind of sad I didn't get to play Feoris's Blade, but I just didn't need it. Oh, Dunk Tank was lethal, too. Cool. Oh, no, I didn't play the Boogie Monster. <laughs> what have I done? You know what? The rag won us that game, guys. We would have been fine. I think Lightning Storm obviously would have cleared the board. And not like we needed to have the lethal that turn. But rag got us the lethal a turn sooner. I love it. Uh, Yeah, I think it's Vampiric Fangs here, right? It's just uh, removal and life gain that buys me time to, you know, kill the opponent with blades and gives me health for blades and so on and so forth. We've kind of figured out our game plan here is obviously, like, stay alive while killing the opponent. These don't really do that. Portal, yeah, we already got like weird high rolls with banner smosh and stuff. So any kind of like high roll win from that's not consistent enough when we actually know how we're going to be winning games in, in many cases here. It's like they don't understand. It's it's like, it's almost like somebody said, okay, your, overload, your hero power says overload, right? Oh, it says overload. So they just like flipped a switch that said any card that says overload, that's getting offered to you. Because I, I, I'm going to have to take this bucket, but I cannot play the Snow Fury, Snow Fury Giant. I, I guess I could technically take this because it's two nature spells. Eh, it's actually not that bad. Earthquakes, good removal. Maybe I do just take this. We know we have the win conditions with, with Feoris and Doomhammer. We don't really need like a Feral Spirit or a Guidance. Maybe this is the pick. Revolve is actually not bad either because we could use it to like silence taunts and stuff that our opponent has. If we need to get desperate or or whatever, turn our stuff into better things, of course, turn our tutus into whatever. Okay, maybe I take this. Still, though, the overload bucket is like... I don't... I, it's, the way it's determining the overload bucket feels weird to me. Feels strange. I like that we know how we're winning. We, we finally played like a, a more aggro -y deck and it's just like, oh, hey. GG, man. Is Feoris's Blade one of the, like, rare treasures? I feel like I haven't seen it in a long time. I want cheap nature spells early. I'm going to keep the Blade, obviously, because it's just an insane treasure, but... Oh my god, why? That's two games in a row. I've kept one weapon and then immediately mulliganed into the other one. That's... That's crazy, right? It's, it's like a 1 out of 33 or something to hit the other weapon two games in a row it's frustrating <laughs> it's really frustrating it's just such a waste yeah let's wait this just doesn't do enough right now you feel like i'm learning with each duels run oh i mean i'm sure there's some passive learning happening to be frank the only thing i feel like i've learned is just um play aggro Go fast. I, I don't know. You have to be really fast. You can't do anything slow at all. I think that's it. Kind of wish I'd taken this weapon. The Chaos Storm has proved utterly useless. Feels like that would have been a better choice in hindsight. Okay, the blade is... I gotta, I'm going to need a, a minion to hit here before this is any good. Yikes. Big damage incoming. Big hits. Play something. I want to get value out of this. This <laughs> is so bad. Um, all right. I'm going to... I'm going to greed the weapons again. I have a lot of healing sort of technically kind of lined up, so I'm not... Stress just yet about my health. I'm worried, but not not losing my mind. If they play a big minion like a Earth Elemental or something, I can Vampiric. If they play small minions, I can just like diligent double forked lightning or something, whatever. Try to heal more. Three coins. Well, that is horrifying. What's about to happen? Oh my god. 
like I'm dead. What is that? Tomb hammer again. Wow, just more damage. Great. <sighs> okay, I don't know. Kind of desperate here. Is that enough healing? Do I need to fork lightning for more healing? Oh, I can't. It won't let me cast it. Oh, never mind. Choice made for us, game. It has to be a minion on board. I hate cards that are like that. Like, I should be able to cast it. it, it there's no reason you can't just throw it out. They fixed that on some cards, but they have not changed it on others, which is sad. Ooh, this is nice. This is a lot of potential healing. This is also just net four, and this is you know, net whatever, so... I like that they took a bit of a downturn here. I think I'll go chaos into forked. Oh, tidal surge too. Let's go. Do I even need the chaos then? Probably not. We probably just forked into tidal. This heals me extra, which is cool, but it does make my curve a little awkward. I don't know if I like that play actually. I don't think I needed this guy. Just floating so much mana now. I don't know about that. Maybe I should have played this. Only problem was I was only playing one overload card that I knew of. Although I did end up playing this. Yeah, I should have snuck this in. If I was going to play this guy, I should have played this guy. Back to 20 though. I mean, we could still be dead very easily, but it's... 20 is not bad. Oh. God, that clears my board way too easily. That's a great vampiric for me though. The buff to, to Baron Geddon is actually going to help my healing here. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Baron Geddon, bro. <laughs> um, I need to make sure I don't have any, like, lethals or anything crazy first, right? Because this is just, you know, 7, 9, or 11 already. I don't think so, but good to check, right? Again, I'm floating mana quite unfortunately. Okay, this is now 10 damage for eight mana. A little more healing here. Ooh, that's scary. Earthquake answers that pretty well though. Any board we build out, right? Earthquake will handle and then I'll heal a little off the earthquake. Oh, earthquake does not handle it. Oh my God. Gross. Are there any lethals that are sneaking around here? Oh, that's got to be lethal, right? No, maybe not still. Nine. Oh, wait, hold up. Uh, That's six and seven is 13 for nine mana. No. Diligent note taker into lightning bolt times two is, or with Brucon is uh 12. That's not it. Do I really not have a lethal here? Do I hit this just in case I want an Earthquake to clear, just to be super duper safe? I think so, right? I think I just play this one safe. Oh, I should do that afterwards then, so that my Lightning Storm... <sighs> uh, I just wasted the Chaos Idiot. Uh, I don't like this turn at all. I don't, And I gave him minions back too. I don't like this turn at all. I guess that was kind of always going to happen. I don't like this turn at all. I mean, it accomplished a few things. I got one extra card, which might actually be relevant. I corrupted, I cleared, like it wasn't bad, but I just, the, the, the Chaos Storm, all it really did is heal me too and generate a Lightning Storm. I don't know if that's worth it. It probably is because I'm so close to winning anyway, but I don't know, I'm not really there yet. And I didn't get any closer to getting there either is the problem, you know? Like I didn't, I didn't hit face at all. Guy's kind of weak. I don't really care about him. He is running out of damage, maybe. So perhaps trying to stabilize my health made made some sense. I just regret it. Just feels weird. Okay, this is actually now finally good. Probably now I can just afford to dunk tank this because we know the Feora sets me up for a lethal. 
kind of playing this game a little weird, very defensively. But again, I, I think Mending Pools plays to that. It feels like there was probably a two turn lethal setup line that I could have just taken, I guess. But what did he get off my keep off his key master? I don't even remember. Was it evolving missiles? I guess. Yeah. Uh, any lethals here? They don't have the wind fury mo at the moment. Oh my god! Oh crap! Oh my god! Wait, why are they hitting that with the rock biter? Wait, what? Why did he rock biter the Vaj? I don't understand. You could have hit me for five, right? Why? Is that just a misclick? Um, I'm a little off lethal again. I have 10. Not enough mana to get a third lava burst. Probably just a misclick. Yeah, he only has one swing. Yeah, but still it was three. To, or Don't cast it, you know, is another alternative, I guess. But it seems weird to, to do neither. <laughs> We're so close to lethal, like three turns in a row. It feels like I'm really missing some opportunities here. Uh, <laughs> just like really, really wasting some opportunities on this. Uh, this is a bit of a heal, so take that. Hopefully I can get another like one mana nature spell here. Would be great. Just worried about dying. Uh, these don't really matter because I'm going to win anyway. Next turn it looks like, but I wish I had a cheap heal. Hopefully 16's enough, but yeah, you never know. I, I, I can be dead here for sure. Which if I do die, I feel like I've lost like six opportunities to kill this guy. Just playing a little too defensively. I've like trumped this game. <laughs> Much love to Trump, but uh, you know, the, the face freeze though was a, was a calculation. I, I did actually set up for the win. It's just the face freeze, I guess, that changed our output, right? Yeah, lava or fire guys, they don't interact with Brucon. Fire is not from nature, sadly. Inside they're not overloaded. They can't really overload, I guess, but oh it should have devolving missiles first, I guess, if you're gonna do that, maybe. All good. As long as our weapon's up, it doesn't matter. We're just you know, it's super duper lethal. Clearly now, finally. It took eight years. Still don't know if I played this game correctly, but whatever. It worked. It, it definitely felt like anticlimactic to keep like oh blah blah just could never get over the hump, but I don't think it was inherently wrong, just felt like, I don't know. I did set up the two turn lethal. I think it was okay. I think it was okay. We set up the weapon. It's just the freeze face got us. What is, oh, uh, this is actually pretty good. Never mind. I was really upset about this. Oh, Lickham's kind of bad though, because it doesn't make my custodian notably worse, but these are all so terrible that it's, Storm Strike's really good and RS fine. So yeah, it's fine. Lickham is, is not great for us. It's actually terrible because we don't have any overloaded mana crystals, but the other ones were, just even worse. Is everybody getting buckets like this? <laughs> everybody gets these terrible buckets. <laughs> everybody's deck is awful. That's how you balance duels. Everybody's deck's garbage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, low upside CJ. I don't know if I said thank you, but thank you for the tier one. That's awfully nice. Tier ones are always super special going out of your way to, to drop a sub and stuff. Not even Twitch Prime, man. That's really cool. And 11 months is crazy. One away from a year. Pretty exciting. <laughs> don't keep two i think i might keep one though i don't know uh with coin flame breathe's pretty good I, I like the idea of having a banner smosh like pop off right it, it gives you win conditions sometimes it's just like crazy big threat or something midanvar thanks for the prime sub staff of pain i've never even seen this after you cast a shadow spell deal two damage to each hero oh my god that's cool I think I have enough healing we can maybe outpace that. Plus, if he's damaging himself, like, we're going to have chances to just lethal, right? Because we're pretty good at dealing damage. That's scary that they're getting damage cards off of me, though, potentially. Um, that could just be, like, two lava bursts, right? That's spooky. Ooh, Yogg. Love cage match as long as it doesn't hit Lickum. Doomhammer and Feoris are obviously far superior. Lickum is more or less useless. So bad lights justice or something. Whatever. No takers, good. I mean, it still thins out the deck. I'm not heartbroken. It's just really annoying. Game. I might actually play this this turn. What the heck else am I gonna do? 
Coin Flame Wreath, I guess, is, is really what I should do. It just, it, it stalls out the turn five Banner Smosh, but we don't know that that's going to be any good anyway, so why save coin for a play that might be terrible when you want to coin it regardless? Now, watch next turn, it'll be like an Alex Straza, and I won't get to play it because I used coin, but of course, that's like a one in a thousand, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to play around the, the potential Alex Straza. Is Alex Straza even available in the pool for duels? I guess she is, but... God knows it will be Alex Straza now. Guaranteed, by the way. <laughs> it's 100% gonna happen. And that was a Lava Burst off the Mind Vision, not even off the Conjurer, but it did hit a minion, so I think I'm, I'm still pretty happy. That is garbage. See, see, we made a good call. We made, the, we made the right move. We made the right move, team. Title Surge is awesome. Big heals against this damage outputs. Cool. Just need to outpace them there. Now I need Banner Smash to be really good. I need this to be, uh, whatever, Alex. Rag again would be great. Tyrion's beautiful. Whatever. Do -do -do -do. Okay, they are really racing each other down here now. We are, this is scary. I love that I'm not playing a Doomhammer this turn. I'm playing some garbage because of my stupid Lickum. God dang it. <laughs> That's actually insane. <laughs> it's freaking Millhouse. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I have no idea if I'm supposed to race here or supposed to get more healing, but you know, if I'm putting their health in check, their shadow spells suddenly become very risky, so and I just have so much damage output. <laughs> Turn five Millhouse. <laughs> He's got plus one plus one for three extra mana. It's a great deal. <laughs> oh, you idiot, Millhouse. <laughs> uh Shaman is cool. I don't think I ever made fun of your poetry. How dare you say such things? Did they really get Feoris's blade off of the psychic conjurer? Oh my god. The good news is if they're using the tip minions, at least it is um Checking their health a little bit, but it's kind of scary because they have like 10 damage outs right now. Swamp King's not good enough. So this hits for five. Another five is 10. That puts them at functionally nine. I have to try to win this race, but it's really scary. I just have some pretty good damage outs, right? Um... Plus, if they cast any of their cards, they might just be putting themselves in lethal range. I don't know. We'll see. I can't believe they got my freaking weapon just like that. Do they have a big heal here? They're targeting their face. That's not good news, if so. Oh, that's kind of fine, really. If I don't play a minion here, that means we're limiting their their output on the Feoris this next turn. That we, you know, we can kind of control how much output they have. Yeah, Earthquake heals me too. It might, it might kind of strand them out, honestly, because... They might have a bunch of shadow spells they can't play out of fear of dying. Only thing I'm worried about is if I lose the Tidal Surge play, I may not have a minion to cast it on very reliably in the future, which may mean I have live. Oh God, I forgot about the idiot Treant. Oh God. That does mean they can hit and hit me for a little more. Shoot, I forgot about this idiot here. Oh my God. It's been so long since I've seen a tree. I forgot it existed. I could be dead here, honestly. They need 12 damage from hand, which Oh, and they have a one health advantage now because... Oh, no, they don't. If they hit this, they go to 11. No, if, if they play Shadow Spells, they have to... Well, I don't know. Their hero power really changes the math. They may have a lethal here. I don't know. This is crazy. This stupid tree. Oh, boy. Does that give them any lethal outs? It does give me a Tidal Surge target. They're at 11. They break the weapon. Interesting choice. Okay. Oh. Are you joking right now? Is this real life? Is this real life, dude? This heals, I think I gotta do it. That's scary. Maybe a hex is better, I don't know. Hex a tree? I actually... If he hits a minion, I'm... Well, okay, it saves two. Eh, reasonable. Reasonable. I like the Lightning Storm better, though. No, I like Lightning Storm better, because that thing's scary. I can't let that live. 
I wish I could have squeezed in a lava burst here. I would have because it may change their ability to play. Like, like this is actually better preemptively because it changes their ability to play cards. Like they may kill themselves accidentally if I play this early. Whereas now if they have that extra five health buffer to work with, they might be able to play cards and kill me with their like shadow spell stuff or whatever, right? That is not gonna have life steals. So that's good news. Was that a banner smosh? It was. <laughs> my cards only okay um is this lethal it's nine it's not lethal gray bow devolving like devolving actually makes this better usually hex is probably the play in that case putting them to two so they play any shadow spell they will die if i gray bow instead of hex doesn't really net me anything and devolving's too risky right because this becomes a five drop which is often a five five anyway i don't think gray bow is nuts here guys i think lava burst hex is is just better because what damage spell are they gonna use that doesn't kill them because they'll be at two as soon as they play a shadow spell they'll die if i go gray bow hex i don't put them on a lethal i like this better i don't know some of you may hate this i don't know whatever now they cannot cast a shadow spell because of their passive they just aren't allowed to cast a shadow spell so they'd have to have like a holy damage spell package to beat me here or some kind of healing first but putting them to two like i said earlier that creates that preemptive you can't play your cards moment which is hopefully enough to win the game uh here they're just out on board they can't hit a minion they can't play a shadow spell so we just lock them out, right? Hyper Blaster. Why does this priest have so many weapons, bro? <clears throat> so evolving here should be lethal if we don't top deck anything else, right? Assuming it hits one of the taunts. I only have to hit one of the taunts. Any one of the taunts, that will also do the job. Okay. Cool. Sweet. Crazy game. Really interesting how that hero power creates like skillful moments. That was fun. Scary though. Real spooky. Um <laughs> what did these cards? Uh, it's gotta be mage armor, right? Uh, armor's pretty good for me, honestly. It buys me time. Buys me time to kill with Feoris, to kill with spells, etc. Militia horn, I don't think we have enough minions. Death charger, I mean, two damage is not that exciting. Not even that much of a race there in that particular set. Um, yeah, again, I, 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 I don't understand the buckets right now. I have literally nothing for Nazoth, I think. I don't have a single card that interacts with Nazoth. Not one card in my entire deck plays into Nazoth. <laughs> and they offer me, an, I mean, I guess Banner Smosh is technically maybe do, but that's it. And then what, I mean, what is this? Who's running, who's running these? I don't, I don't get this at all. Not at all. Oh, I do have elementals. Oh, true. I have one elemental for Nazar. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> That's it. Another shaman's very scary. I won't go easy on um, I have the weapon thing. Armor and card draw seem good. I'm going to keep this. The forked lightning, it just denies any early tempo. They have like... Mending, or uh, what is it called? Spreading saplings or whatever. They have, oh my God, they got the, did they really hit the Murloc and say, maybe they rolled this before the, um, before the patch. If they hit the crazy Murloc package here. They might've hit it early. This is the like old deterministic Murloc group you'd always get where you'd have double battle cry, cheap battle cry Murlocs. Well, we don't have any Murlocs yet, so maybe it's not that. That'd be nice. Good forked lightning here. Less good forked lightning, but still I'll take it. Uh, I bump it up at all for that. I mean, it's free. I might as well. It's not quite enough, but... Happy to play this early, of course, so they don't get more crazy stuff. Uh, Lumi Presence is fine. We definitely need cards. I'm already kind of feeling light on stuff, to be honest. We've not had a car. We've not had a hand size problem yet. Like we've had plenty of resources in most games, but 
I definitely feel like this game could change that. I don't feel like I have a ton of cards right now. The gentleman's top hut. Might be worth it. I mean, they're way out of way out of more cards more than I am though, so maybe they're having it even worse than I am. Uh, is it worth a devolving missiles yet? No, let's wait. It's gonna get buffed again anyway, so let's chill. No rush just yet. I heal. I heal fairly well in this deck, so don't mind taking some early damage as long as I swing the game right. Chain lightning's a tad off. Uh, Storm strike devolving's decent, I think. Not, not super exciting though. Depends on what gets hit too, I guess. People do this all the time. I mean, maybe in this case it was intentional to, to buff the Scorpion a little more. It's hard to say, but people always play a card and then attack. They never, they never want the one to get buffed. I don't know. Always feels wrong to me, but <sighs> all right. Let's see if Storm Strike here cleans these up. I mean, yeah, it's fine. Hit it once. What? <laughs> I'm right back where I started. What in the world? I see you've uh, studies. Okay. This may seem insane, but uh, I'm just going to do it anyway. Well, I don't know. We could get a diligent note taker to go with it. It's the only thing. <laughs> no, that's fine. Just fill in my mana, right? It's basically, I'm going to take that five damage at some point anyway. Uh, I shouldn't need that to hit minions really in the way this hand is shaping up currently. So just just take your mana. It's one of those uh, turn one arcane shots, right? <laughs> uh, their hand is spells, which is usually not great at developing the board. I mean, they could have obviously gotten some feral spirits or whatever, but generally not great at um, filling the board. They've had one card in hand for a long time and another card in hand for a long time. I don't know what those are. Maybe burst damage they're not ready to use yet. Maybe healing they're not ready to use yet i guess i don't know sad i wasted my lava burst now it's great news some kind of damage here it looks like oh no it's just procking that that makes sense okay chain lightning is not great it's not bad though on these do i play a diligent note taker with it in order to just get another one back i think so but i also really like the extra value of guidance instead i think because my hand's a little light on stuff. Oh, yeah. I think we actually just coined a lightning storm now, right? Leaves up a... Oh, well, no, it leaves these up anyway. It's sort of the same difference. Never mind. Let's just do this. It's all good. Lightning storm will be strong next turn. Hopefully after a little bit of trade action happens. Okay. Imagine if this turned into another chain lightning. Then we would have gotten an extra card for free off of the diligent note taker. It'll be amazing. Not too worried about discounts here. Their hands like kind of discounted usually anyway and stuff. Not that, not that spooky. That's a good play though. Lightning Storm does not quite answer the Shroom Brewer unless I can find a Brewcon off the top. Big damage, I'm scared. It's spooky. So Storm Strike, Lightning Storm's pretty good. Tidal Surge, Lightning Storm's pretty good as well. We can leave up that thing. That's just a 1-1. One, one. It's not, not scary at all. And now they are out of cards. And they only got one discount. What is this though? It's probably going to be some perfect five mana play. Perfectly discounted for this overload. As long as they don't get any crazy hand reload. They don't have like a bag of stuffing or whatever it's called. We'll be fine, I think. I don't have a great like turn the corner sort of reload setup. Although now I might. Um... Storm. Oh, oh, what am I doing? Oh god, I forgot I could take both. Oh, I'm an idiot. That's what I'm doing. I'm just an idiot. I don't know what the other card was. I probably don't need it, but I'm just an idiot. I just forgot to take both. Okay, let's chill. Five mana Octo, sorry. Yeah, there you go. What was the other card? What did I miss? Forgot I'm not overloading. I got so excited to see Storm Strike because it's so insane. I was like, yes, let's go. It was a minion buff. Oh, no. Oh, 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 the Murloc uh, minion buff. Got it. Yeah, that's not that. That's not that important, thankfully. Okay. Fireheart turn. 
Um, I'm not, I'm, it's not gonna let me play any of these, is it? It's not gonna let me play a single one of these. So we know Fork Lightning you can't play. Can I play Perpetual Flame even without minions? Will it let me cast it? It won't. I, <sighs> I should have gotten the Hex, honestly, in hindsight. Like, I could have Hexed. I'm really annoyed, though. That's so frustrating. I thought we'd test it, because old cards you couldn't auto-cast, but then they changed a bunch of them so that you could auto-cast them. Like, what's that one example? It's like in a Cleave. Cleave you used to couldn't cast unless there were two minions on board. Then they let you cast Cleave. But I guess, I don't know. Maybe it's more about... Oh, my God. Maybe it's more about... Uh, well, I don't, I don't know what it's about. I don't know. Is this? Oh, Cleave, you can only play if there's one minion board. I just, it's like, it's your, I think it's your card. You should be able to play it. It's, it's how I've always felt about that. Like, it's my card. I should be able to play it how I want, right? That's how I've always felt. Like, let me play my card how I want to play my card. Even if it's not optimized or whatever, right? Like, even if it's not perfect, it's, it's my card, right? Let me play it. Decided to save one of these. Just in case, right? We don't know. Kind of out of out of resources, man. Because that Fireheart got stranded, I got unplayable cards. If I'd known this didn't work, I would have taken the Hex, but what can you do? It didn't work, so here we are. So this is um, 16 damage, but I would lose my weapon. Kind of want to hit one minion if I can. Oh, they decided to just fully clear. Okay. I think I'm still pretty chill with that. This game's weird. Like, they ended up getting as many or more cards than me just because that Fireheart was so stranded. Man, that's really frustrating. Oh, God. Is this going to kill me? Oh, we're sore 12. Wow. Yeah, sure. That makes sense. I dig it. And deal six to each. Okay. Or no, not six to each. Six to me. What am I saying? Six to each. Yeah, right. I'm going to lose this game because of that Fireheart, aren't I? It's becoming pretty clear I'm going to lose because of the Fireheart. Please be killable. Okay, perfect. I'm pretty much dead now. I still have a coin in hand. What do I need? I need uh, mage armor. It's not even that good. It just keeps me alive. I need chaos storm, actually, is what I need. I need chaos storm to refill my hand. Yeah. Do you guys agree with me that you should just be able to play a card even if it doesn't have a target? Because it's not even, well, if it's, I guess if it's targeted, you shouldn't be able to, but this isn't targeted. It's just a random minion. You should be able to just fling these about, you know? There's no, there's no minion. You don't have to target it. So if there's no target, why can't I just throw it away? I feel like it just feels counterintuitive to, to deny me the ability to play my card. I think that feels bad. Oh, am I dead? Oh, I am dead. Oh man, that's sad. Could have used this to heal three, but I wanted to wait just in case. Just in case. It's misclick protection, but we have. You can you can accidentally play any other card in the game. I, I don't know. I just think it would be more intuitive if you could just play it. I also think you should be able to attack your own minions for the record, but that's a whole different conversation. I mean, what? Uh, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, whatever. I don't even care. I just, I, I can't, I, I can't think of a reason that it specific that, that a randomly targeted damage spell can't be cast when other things can be cast. You know what I mean? Maybe there's some logic I'm not considering. I, I don't know. I'd be happy to consider it, but. It's not coming to mind, I have to say. Do we keep all these armor cards just because it's Mind Tether Priest? This gets me resources. I don't know, maybe. I definitely feel like I was checked for resources last game pretty darn hard. I think I'm going to either want to win the game quickly. That's the problem with a deck like this, right? Is that as people get more and more health, you don't win the game as quickly. So resources become more and more important. Um, this is a weird combo. We kept this, so that's something at least. 
But we really don't have a lot of reloads in this deck. It's Fireheart and Chaos Storm, and that's it. If I lose those, or maybe something off Bandersmosh, I guess. That's a possibility. Theoretically, Feoris's Blade, if we have enough life, could be like an instant win on its own, but may not be enough. Yeah, we are getting coined a lot this run when I don't need it. Although a turn turn three faceless feels pretty good. Priest will probably murder it, but it's okay. Again, I'm losing coin banner smosh. I'm sure it'll be something just completely bonkers next turn, and then it'll be mill house on turn five when I can actually play it. <laughs> uh, yeah, low upside. I, th I think you're exactly right. A, a good early game, or early run decks are not good late game decks necessarily. You have to kind of shift throughout the course of your run into more. Um, well, for instance, like I said, damage doesn't work as well late game because everybody has more health. So you might need a little bit more card draw. You might need more reload, more value. You can't just get by on a couple, you know, lava bursts like you can in the first game. You need a little more to work with, I think. Oh, Blade is nice. Okay, Blade gives me a win condition, basically. Just burn through minions and hit face. Assuming they have enough minions, of course, but... Theoretically, come on, Bandy. What is it, Bander Smush? Umbra. We've had Umbra twice now on that. That's shocking, isn't it? Umbra, you're not very good. I don't know how to break this to you. Umbra, you suck. Do I ever go Note Taker, Mage Armor? I don't think yet. Do I equip a Feoris' Blade without being able to kill anything? No, because it'll signal too hard. I guess in that case, I just Molten Blast face and pass. What a... Maybe I Molten Blast Mancrick so that if I if he takes a trade, I can Feoris Blade one hit kill him. That might be nice. Are you serious? 35 cards in deck and he top decks the Mancrick's wife. <sighs> For real? That's crazy, right? It's even bigger than a normal deck, and <laughs> it's got uh... <sighs> it's one out of thirty-five. God. Oh, Nas Dormu. That's cool. Can I kill this if I go lightning bolt? Yes, I can. Okay, that's good. Really good, actually. But didn't miss any healing there. I don't think so. Yeah, that's nuts. Okay, blade is already wicked buffed. Um, cleared the stupid idiot immediately. Idiot wife just coming out of nowhere. David Hasselhulk. Oh my God, forty-six months, dude. It's crazy. Thank you, David Hasselhulk. Uh, that's very kind. Big time sub. My mom was talking about you the other day, oddly enough. Okay, I want face hard. I, I can just like lightning storm though, it's no big deal. Oh, actually, do I want to use the blade to wicked buff it? I take a little extra damage, but taking at least 15 next turn. I don't know if I can afford to. Oh, dude, that might be really good, but I need a lightning storm. I don't think I can afford to blade this, right? I think I have to. I think I have to play this one fairly straight. In fact, maybe I take a second lightning storm for the second round of, of uh, Locus. Almost dead, though. And I don't really have anything to do with my mana here either, which sucks. I don't hit, I don't think I hit because I'm just too close to dead, right? I'm so close to dying here. Because um, they're going to deal 15 to me at least this turn. It's really spooky. What's the follow-up on this, I guess, is the other question, right? Well, you know, I could go Gidra Dunk Tank here, but I, I think I want to play Mage Armor, right? So, oh, Dunk Tank Mage Armor works too. Oh, Condemn is fine. It's no big deal. Well, I mean, I guess unless he can cast five spells here, maybe then I'm in trouble. Might be in trouble anyway. Uh, Yeah, Mage Armor, Dunk Tank is fine. Moonfang is fun. Uh, I'm a little hesitant to go face already, but whatever, it works. Don't 
Back to 17. I don't know how greedy to get to this with this weapon, but until I have like a, a more clear path to like lethal or something else, I'm just going to chill. I kind of regret that lightning storm note taker now. I wish I just played a Gidra to develop a threat. I think that was wrong. Legit OGs. Excavated evil's fine, whatever. I don't, I don't care. I mean, I'm always a little scared of any damage, but... Come closer. Tempo nameless one. All right. Vanessa gives me a nameless one if I combo her. Is that worth anything? I don't really think so, right? Gidra Fangs? It's not... It's not that exciting either. Am I ever going to really be able to hit minions again is another question, because I'm just taking so much damage. I would like to say I could get better off Vanessa in the future. Not really. <laughs> I lose to Vanessa. <laughs> Not exactly. Uh, do it for the 5-5. Five five. Uh, how am I killing the... Oh, Fangs is how I'm killing the dude. That's not a, it's not a crazy idea, really. Um, just to get a, a tempo play. It's eight mana anyway. I don't... I don't really need to get her to react to anything yet. So, okay. You, you've, you've convinced me, actually. Why not? I like it because it's value generation and I don't have any value right now other than just Chaos Storm. Do I need to start hitting with this weapon is another question, right? I'm not really going to hit minions anymore and then that means maybe I am setting up for like a future Doomhammer. I also do have uh, Storm Strikes, I guess, to find more damage outs, but... I think they need to at least be worried about their life total. And this is 15 on board, so maybe they're worried about it, right? No one, no one the maybe they have to at least think about it. This could be a better Gidra. Gidra, I don't have a big enough spell, really. I guess Devolving Missiles is pretty insane here. These are both two drops. Oh, oh, Serena's Battle Cry worked. That was cool. It actually did go off an extra time, right? That was sort of chill. Oh, Brucon Lightning Storm is pretty good too, and it heals me. That's probably the play. Brucon Lightning Storm. Do I maybe hit that 2 2 for a little bit of extra damage? Like, 2 2 is not much. Um, really, really does help me later. Kind of punishes them for playing smaller minions too, which is nice. I take two, but I net, you know, four basically already. Which seems pretty good. This just sets up lethal. They have to react to this board. If they do react to this board, I, I might be in trouble because I don't have any overloads left for my Chaos Storm, but whatever. Put it on the win. Yeah, she, exactly. She stole it even though she had more, but I think both battle cries like triggered initially. I don't, I don't know how it works. Oh, of course. I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot. It's fine, though. We don't need that right now. Oh, there's two of them, though, aren't there? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's double... I forgot double Zola. Do I have any lethal now? I mean, again, Devolving Missiles is nuts here, but... Uh, what do we have? Uh, two, four, six, and 14 is uh, 20. So not quite. I could go for a Chaos Storm Forked Lightning to try to find a lethal out here. It's a bit of a waste because Devolving Missiles is so good, but I think there's actually quite a few paths towards lethal because like minion buffs are really good. My board's gonna get full though. Oh my God. Um, Still gonna go. It, it, you know, it's it's gotta be worth it here to try to find a lethal out. Man, really? <sighs> I think I'm pretty much out of outs. Oh my god. Okay, man. Starting to feel like a real waste now, isn't it? Listen. Send my regards. Uh, does it matter if these whiff? Yes, it matters if the 6-3 whiffs, so I gotta do this. What an unfortunate series of rolls, I feel like. Man. I mean, I got a 7-7, seven, seven, whatever, it's cool, I don't know. Third 8, I'm happy, I'm at, I'm at 22, that's pretty cool. Wasn't perfect, but it works. Binding heal. Okay. Turn into a Ragnaros. Oh, that's actually sick. Wow. Double battleground. That's crazy good. Feel 
What a turn. Oh my god. Cleared my board. Healed out of any sort of lethal range. What an insane turn. I might be in trouble now. I, I can't really clear this board that well. I gave up all my damage to dig for lethals there. And by the way, it hit garbage. Probably wasn't worth in hindsight, but what do we know? Another insane heal. Oh my god. Just heal for 10, man. Just heal for 10. It's no big deal. Banish launch, save me. Might be decent. Here's another test. What does that draw me? Bandersmosh again? Really? It's a 5-5 five, five Divine Shield though, which I really like. <laughs> oh, God, excuse me. Oh my God. I almost died. I almost died. Uh, hey, unarmed goat, man. Thanks for the prime sub. How cool, dude. Oh no, I'm going to lose this game. Good God, I'm going to lose this game. Vampiric Fangs is insane. Why did they just start stabilizing so hard? Oh no, I can get a Lyra, but am I going to have a spell? Right? I need a spell. I need like a guidance here. Bag of coins with Lyra? What? It's like they were sandbagging the whole game. And then suddenly just their deck just turned into magic. Oh my god. Paul breathing too. Oh my god. It's like they just came out of nowhere and their deck was amazing. Oh, uh, I'm really glad I went for the lethal when I did. I, I think they were going to stabilize so hard anyway. I don't think I had a chance. Look at this garbage, dude. I can silence off the stats, so it's fine. I just really need a spell. I, 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 <laughs> they went from being dead to 23 health with a full hand. Hex. Okay, actually. Um, it's really expensive, but... Uh, I guess I have to actually ask myself if I hex... Oh, no, I don't have a hex level 3. It doesn't matter. I'm so dead anyway. Um, I mean, this is really good if Lyra somehow magically survives as Lyra dies. Like, this would obviously be insane, but I, the chance of my Lyra living against a hand of 10 cards is basically non-existent. Oh, joy. Even more healing. It's great. I, well, the chance of me living, I should say, actually. <laughs> like, forget Lyra. I'm probably dead. Wait, how do they not have lethal there? Like, uh, hitting me for two and then this thing going off? Like, they've got to have close to lethal. I guess it depends on how expensive their stuff is, but... Oh, where's that hex I had, dude? <laughs> Zoth saved me. I, I mean, do we have anything good? <laughs> Somebody said this earlier, by the way. Why run the Zoth if the Zoth's in your deck? Who said that? <laughs> Who said that? Somebody said it. I don't think we have anything, right? Did he miss lethal? I, I, I maybe. I don't know. It felt like it, but uh, we don't know how expensive these spells are, so it, it doesn't. We don't know for sure. All right, whatever. <laughs> No, not like this. <laughs> Somebody earlier said you have one elemental and design. Actually unreal. Oh, man. That that got crazy at the end. That got crazy. I, I still think we made the right play. I think I think it was good. The turn I went for the lethal, we were so close. You know, we were running out of steam. We just hit the wrong set of, of, of overloads. We hit like two weapons instead of like a lava burst, you know? It was, um, I think it was the right line. Just, just an unfortunate roll on it. All right, let's open these packs. I don't know why I have two. I thought we only, oh, we did play two, yeah. All right, golden whaling combatant. And... Yeah, not a bad pack. Purple, at least. 